guys. Here we're at Rafa Nadal's Academy, and I'm with G and Javier. And today we're gonna teach you the Rafa buggy whip forehand because we are at Rafa's Academy. So you got you gotta learn how to do the buggy whip. And then I'm also gonna show you a cheat, which I call the Vincent Van Gogh forehand that I was showed when I was growing up. But these guys, they can do both because they're super awesome. So we're gonna go through some some situations too when you'd want to use the Rafael Nadal buggy whip forehand because it's kind of a controversial thing, right, Guy? I mean, yes. some people say, some coaches say, yo, you shouldn't be learning how to do that. But there are situations where I think it's definitely beneficial to do something like that. So, so you boys ready to hit some balls? Yeah, we're ready. Sure. All right, let's get into these drills. All right, Javier, so you're going to be demonstrating the Rafa buggy with forehand. Now, what would be one situation, there's a lot of situations where you want to use this. What would be one situation where you might use this? Um, for example, on defense, when they are putting pressure on you and you have to go back and you hit, make a late contact, you need a huge amount of top spin. That's when you hit a little bit late, you move back, and the ball takes time to uh, go to the back of the court and you have time to recover your position. Very cool. So, Guy's actually going to be feeding him with the hand feeds. They do lots of hand feeds. That's a Spanish style. So no matter what level you are, hand feeds is not a beginner drill. We've, I've seen lots. I've even saw Uncle Tony yesterday feeding hand feeds this really awesome player. So watch how they do this. Watch the buggy whip. I'll explain why it's the buggy whip as he's hitting, and then we'll show you the Vincent Van Gogh. Go ahead. Let's see. Okay. So he's feeding him balls. It's going to push him back. So notice how he's lifting up over his head. And he's got super high, crazy top spin. And why we call it the buggy whip, Rafa hits and he actually comes around his head, okay? So even though you might not do this, this is a great shot to learn how to do. There it is, that's a nasty one. Why am I calling this the Vincent Van Gogh? Because when I was taught to hit a similar shot, my coach taught me to pull up on the same side, and so I'm calling it like you're gonna cut off your own ear. So you're gonna have that massive toss and that massive lift, but instead of going around the head like Rafa, like a lasso, you're gonna pull up behind the ear. Now, so Guy's gonna feed me, I'm gonna do the Vincent Van Gogh forehand, and what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to hit it, and then pull up behind my ear putting all kinds of frictions. It's a little bit of a cheat, because I find it very hard to go around your head like a lasso, but if you pull up, you kind of get the same effect, and it's a little easier. So next way you want to be using this Rafa Buggy Whip or Vincent Van Gogh is when the ball is shortening the court, you can move up, create a lot of racket at speed and angle. So watch Javier get this ball to get up and down real quick. All this racket at speed gets the ball to get up and down real quick and you get the ball cross court, you can hit some serious angles on it. That was nasty, look at that shot. There it is like that, keep it like that. That's awesome. You look amazing, Javier. Come on, Javier, make Rafa proud. There it is. Yeah.
Okay guys, so those are some fun drills showing you the difference between the Rafa Buggy Whip and the Vincent Van Gogh, which for some of us older players out there might be a nice cheat to get the same effect. Now, if you want to hit the Rafa forehand on the Rafa court, we have rumor that he might actually be here today getting ready to play. We actually saw Rafa's dad earlier. That's what kind of place he's in. Rafa's uncle. I mean, it's an awesome place. And this man right here is the reason why I'm here. With the Spanish tennis experience, the fantasy experience. Tell us about this, what people can do here and how this happened. Yeah, if you want to come next year and join us in Spain with Peter and I, uh, we organize a trip again this uh, May 2024. We're going to go four days at the Rafa Nadal Academy, train with the trainer from the, from the academy, maybe cross Rafa, and then we'll go to Madrid to the Madrid Open. So please let us know, please let uh, Peter know if you want to join this uh, unique and amazing experience. Guys, you got to come. Last night, I was on a, the oldest Spanish boat, wooden boat in the world, 1841. It was amazing. And we had paella, right? One of the best paellas I've had so far. I mean, guys, you got to come around here. We got the hard courts, we got the clay courts, we got the, the Rafa and the Nadal Academy coaches coaching you. It doesn't get any better. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a special interest list for them. If you'd like to come to Spain, or maybe you want to go to France, or maybe you want to go to South America and train with Pablo Cuervas. Maybe you want to go to the south of France. I mean, you could go, if, you, if you hang with this guy, if you hang with this guy, and you hang with this guy, you never know where we're going to take you. So if you're interested in traveling all around the world playing tennis, what I want you to do is in the card section right up there, I want you to click on it. There'll be an interest form. You fill it out, and we'll be in touch. We'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.